I'm coming in loud and clear. Might hear me on the radio. Breaker, breaker, one nine. Anybody got their ears on? Hey guys, it's Eric here at Farpoint Farms in the mountains of North Carolina. Today, I'm going to show you how to solve one of the bigger problems of installing a CB radio in a modern car. And that is, there's just no place to put it. Dashboards are contoured. There is no real underspace, and with center consoles, there's really no good spot to stick a radio. Well, I'm going to show you how to install one using a double-din kit for your radio. You can buy a single-din stereo and then add the radio as the other slot. It just barely fits, but it fits, and it actually, when it's done, it gives a really, really nice package. It looks, looks professional, it looks good, and it just fits in with modern cars. So I'm going to be installing the President McKinley. It is a single DIN size radio. There are others. The 980 is also very, very close. You might have to do just a little bit of trimming of this bezel around the front when you install it. And the President Taylor. And there's a bunch of others. Basically, if you can find one that's single DIN, I know the Cobra, they don't make them new anymore, but the Cobra 18 um, WXST2 was like, I had them in all my cars as single DIN installations because they were just great. And they're front firing speakers. What's great about the McKinley is it's a front firing speaker. That means that instead of the noise coming out down inside of the cab or requiring you to add an external speaker, this one still sounds great when installed in this setup. All right, so what you're gonna need for this is of course a kit that is uh, installed for a single DIN radio or double DIN radio install in whatever car you are putting this into. Mine is going to be a Volvo, but the job is gonna be the same for no matter what, right? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna install these two. I'll get the camera closer in. I'll show you how I'm gonna put these two together and then screw in some screws to make sure that they stay put. And we'll go from there. We have got our double din and I've got this old, uh, it's a Sony x -Plod. Those were pretty good ones back in the day. And it's got HD radio, which is kind of nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna slide that in. It's gonna be kind of a tight fit. And we're gonna push it into place. There we go. That looks about right. And then you're going to have to line up some of these holes here. You can see there's one. So I'll go ahead and put a screw in there. And we'll do that on both sides for this part here. Do the same thing on the other side here. Cool. Now, most of these kits, that's, that's it. You would put a little tray here that would hold CDs or whatever. I guess in the modern era, no CDs. But... You'd put something down there and that would be the end of it, but we're not going to install that tray. Instead, we're going to install our CB radio. And so I'm going to take the mounting brackets here. I'm going to take those off and we're going to slide that into place. And you'll see it fits. All right, we're going to put that in there and then we're going to line it up. It's not a perfect, it doesn't line up like 100%, but it's pretty darn close. And as long as it's close enough, there we go, we can get one started. Perfect, now check that out. Now we have CB radio on the bottom and a regular CD, AM, FM with USB and all that up on top. Now on the back, we're gonna make one extra connection here and I've already got it set up, but here's my kit to make this work on my Volvo, right? This is for the speakers. We don't care about that one. Although I guess technically you could tap in if you want to through the external speaker. If you wanted to go through, you could tap in there, but we're not going to do that. Hot and cold is all I'm looking for. Just make sure that you're using the keyed hot and cold or you'll end up with a, a key on draw there. We don't want that. So I've got that tapped in. Go ahead and plug this in. And now for me, I'm going to run a jumper here because I want to do my SWR calibration. So we'll run that and we're ready to install it. That's how easy it is to do a doubled in CB installation. And I mean, it's so nice. Like, look at it. It looks like it should. It looks like you'd expect it to. All right, so let's move to the car. All right, here we are in the car. Now, this is where it's going to be different for everyone. But for me, I've got two screws down here. I'm going to take those out, kind of pry forward here. If I get that slid out of the way here, I'll push that off the side. And on mine, I've got two 
T25 Torx bits down here that'll release the radio. This was actually a really, really nice radio in its time, but its time has come and gone. It's a cassette deck and CD player with a little cubby holder. They made a model of this that had, um, it had a cell phone built in right there. And of course, that's also kind of obsolete at this point. I think it was maybe an analog phone. But there we go, we'll slide that out of there and we'll unplug our plugs and we can set that radio aside. These still have some value online, so maybe I'll try to resell it. And now to put the new one in, I am going to kind of push this down a bit as I install it because I want, I want to make sure that this cord goes down. So I'm going to snake that down because I'm going to have this routed down by the uh, foot panel here. There we go. And you can see, there it is right there. Well, you can't see, I guess, but it's right there. All right, now I'm plugging my plugs back in. This is not a very time consuming job, as you can tell. All right, first connection is my antenna for the radio. And green, green goes to green. Gray goes to gray. And we're already putting this thing back together. Kind of tuck your wires in there. And there she sits. Perfect. Go ahead and reinstall my screws. We're ready to install our cover plate. And here's the plate on mine. You can see there's even enough of a gap on this one. I was able to mount my microphone holder. So we'll take that and slide that into place like so. And man, this is taking no time at all, right? Slide this also goes back in. I can wiggle it in there. These are a little tricky sometimes. There we go. And we got two more screws down here. I'll reinstall those I took out. Before I started filming, I just want to make sure that I had the right adapter kit. Lastly, I've got this little trim piece on mine. I'll slide that back into place. Boom. That's it. Um, so the next step for me, and I'll do this in part two, is I'm going to make a video on setting up SWR calibration on your antenna. Stick around for that. I hope you will. But look at that, man. Hopefully you can see that somewhat. I know the, the lighting isn't great in here. Let me, there you go. I'll light it up. We got a radio up on top and we've got our president McKinley on the bottom, ready to go. Everything is nice and firm and it looks factory. Till next time, my friends, take care.